All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Jill, your English coach. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the irregular verbs um, using the base form of the verb, past tense, and then the past participle. So we'll practice. This will be just kind of a brief practice. So by the end of class, you should begin to feel or you should feel more comfortable knowing the difference or when to use past tense and in a simple form, simple past tense, even some of the irregular. So I've got like 10 or 12 of the most common irregular verbs. So the goal of that is just really to review and commit to memory or to memorize those, okay? So I've got the three columns and we're gonna fill in all of the blanks. So we have a blank here and we have a blank here. What we do have is the past tense form. So we have to use that to kind of go backwards and find out what's the main verb, okay? So the past tense of this verb is was, were. The verb is to be, okay? The copula, okay? That's the past tense. So I was happy, she was tired, we were there, okay? Those are just very simple sentences for you. Okay, and then the past participle of the verb to be, when you, so the past participle we use in a couple of places, specifically and most commonly, we use it in the perfect, present perfect tense. So think about this. If I'm gonna use this verb, this be, um, I have been in Montana for four, years. I have been. So this is your main verb, and then this is the auxiliary or helping verb. Okay? So, and then what we call this, it's the main verb, but it's in that participle form. So we're going to put been here. And it's not been, okay? Maybe um, other forms of English um, might pronounce this more like been. Um, in the United States and Canada, we say been been, almost like eh. okay? But it does vary, so. Okay, so the next one, we only have this participle. So the past participle is done. Let's go back to the main verb. So what's the main verb of this? It's do, okay? And the past tense of do is did. Perfect. If you'd like, you guys, you could take a moment and just Pause the video and start to fill this in on your own. So go ahead and pause now if you'd like to do that. If you're sticking with me, let's keep going. If you just came back, good for you. Let's see how you did, okay? Come, the past tense is came, okay? He came to work on time. And then the past participle, so if we have, I have come, okay? I have come. I have come, okay? Now this next one, the past tense we have said, remember the pronunciation of this sounds like this, eh, said. Okay, if you guys have not been studying my, or coming to my pronunciation class, you should also come to that. I think that is like the pinnacle class for learning. All right, so let's go backwards. So we've got the past tense here, the verb is say, good work. And then the past participle, I have said it a million times. Okay. Sometimes I have to put it into a sentence in my brain to make sure that it makes sense. So it's it's kind of difficult. What, what I'm saying is it sometimes can be difficult to be like, what's the past participle of the verb no? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Um, uh, and then you have to put it in the sentence, right? I have known, right? So if the past participle for the word no is known, I have known this for many years, okay? And the past tense for no is new, new. Okay, past participle, we've got sat. Maybe we can work backwards. Let's go back to the verb. What is the verb here? To sit, right? I sit in the first row every day. Yesterday, I sat in the back of the class. And I have sat in this seat for 10 years. Let's see, so we've got the past participle gotten, gotten. Now, 
um, I like to mix in a little bit of pronunciation when we're we're doing some of these things. So what's happening here? Listen to me pronounce this word. Gotten. Gotten. You're not even hearing those double T's, are you? No. Here's another example where you're going to have two double T's in the in the middle. But listen to the pronunciation of this. Butter. Butter. Duh, duh. You're hearing a D here. Isn't that crazy? However, here you've got gotten, and th that, that T sound is just completely gone. Now, this is American English, North American English. Um, so in other Englishes, you would hear gotten. And to me, that sounds very formal. So the way that this word is said in North American English is gotten, gotten. So the verb, the, the main verb of this is get, right? And the past tense of get is got. Okay, we are getting there. See, getting? <laughs> oh, I hope you guys get my jokes because otherwise it's just all for nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. So we have the main verb to start here. We have the verb have in the past tense, had, right? And this is, so just being clear here, this is not, this is the main verb, right? So the verb is to be, to do, to come, to have. Okay, so we have, I have um, two cars. I had a Volkswagen. I have, so I have, I just stopped. I just stopped myself and I put myself into, I put this word or that verb into this form in my head so that I could do this for you. So just so you know, that's, you know, for a native speaker, you sometimes have to stop and think, wait, 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 what is that? Okay. So don't feel bad if this takes a little bit of time. We're going to practice this perfect tense with these participles in upcoming classes. So don't worry, we will get there. Just be patient. Okay. Let's move on. So if I put that in this form of a sentence with this verb, I have had, I have had it. Had, I have had it. Okay, so we've got here the past tense of get, uh, this verb. In the present, it is give. Okay, so I give money to my church. I gave money to my son. And then I have given them a lot of time. I have given, okay? Saw is the past tense here. The verb is here. The main verb is see, so see, saw, seen. I have seen that movie before. I have seen that movie before, okay? No, new, known, we already did that one. Oops, I kind of jumped in front here. Um, so here we've got the participle. So the verb made, okay, go backwards, it's make, right? I make bread in the mornings. In the past tense, yesterday I made bread and I have made many loaves of bread, okay? Okay, we've got a past tense here, thought. What is the verb in the uh, in the main the main form is think. Okay? I think that um, winter is fun. I don't know. <laughs> I think winter is fun. Um, I, yesterday I thought it was going to rain. I thought it was going to rain. Um, and then the participle I have, I'm putting it in context here. I've thought, I have thought that many times. So as you guys can see so far, there really is no, with these irregular verbs, there really is no pattern, right? So you can you can kind of come up with some sort of a pattern for some of them, like this gotten or been or seen, those kind of have that E-N at the end. But realistically, there is not much of a pattern with this. And so really just taking the time to memorize them um, is going to be the best way to do it. Okay, two more here. No, three more. Um, so we've got the verb mean. So... I I mean to have a good day. Just kind of like to try. 
uh, in the past tense, meant. This is to say, I meant to do that, or I wanted to do that. And then the past part I have meant, it's meant. It's like meant, meant, meant. Isn't that kind of a crazy word, huh? Okay, so we've got the past tense here, drove, and then our present tense is drive, right? I drive a silver car. I drove a station wagon to work yesterday. And the past participle would be like, I have driven, driven. I have driven this car for 10 years. Last one, understood. The verb is to understand. And the past tense is, yesterday I understood what you said. So these two are the same in this, in this um, as well. So you have a couple of them that are the same. You know, another way to kind of take a lot of information and kind of sort through it or organize it is to organize it. So maybe you go through this big, long list. All of these are the irregular verbs in the past tense and the participle, you know, may, and, and it continues onto this, onto the next page. So you've got all of this. This is probably, what is it? 10, 20, 30, 40, 120. There's probably like 150 of these verbs here, you know, so maybe you start to separate it and you get a copy of this list. You print it on your printer or someplace and you start checking it off. Yep. I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. And just maybe take a month to do it, you know? So don't let yourself feel overwhelmed with that amount of information because there's no point in feeling overwhelmed. You will get it. It might take time, but you will get it.